Okay, so we're ready for another battle with Joe Yuspei. You've been what happened to my tongue there? No idea. Anyway, we are Joey Longlegs <laughs> because he's too tall. <laughs> because I messed up the height, as everyone knows. I found that out in the previous episode. And we are slowly getting really strong bulldozers. So I think I've just got to start training my like defense, really. Probably what I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna start improving my head and body health. That's probably all I'm gonna be doing. I feel like that's the best way to take it. I sort of wish there was an option to redo your height, but I guess that wouldn't make sense. Let's do it. Oh well, let's get into it. First fight of the day. I'm actually on full stamina this time instead of being stamina-less. And I forgot to turn off the music again. Oh, this guy's aggressive. Everyone is super aggressive now. This man has no culture. He is a disgusted, dirty boxer. With his clinching. I don't... <laughs> I, I say that while I'm playing Joe Yusufi. <laughs> why can I not say his... I usually can say his name. I don't get why I can't right now. But no, I'm, I'm talking about dirty boxers yet. I'm literally playing Joe. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> totally have a right to talk about dirty boxers. Uh, I can't get in reach. Guy's really good at retaining distance. Uh huh. Yeah, you totally dodged that jab. Like you're telling me these people don't feel botish. <laughs> these people feel super botish. Okay, that is connecting. I'm 100% sure that's connecting. Gotta love these robot-like AI who make no sense and are just stupid. Like, this is what I mean. It just feels like a lot of the AI is becoming very, very artificial in their difficulty. Because it's literally just perfect everything. But they don't really feel like a human anymore. Like, when they were, like, rare and only really particular styles, it wasn't too bad. But now they all do the same punch combo. They all have perfect distance management. And even if you clearly hit them, they're like, nah. Are you telling me that's not connecting? Oh, that one connected, though. Exact same distance, exact same hit. Okay, game. Holy... There we go. You want to try and be uber match type style? Well, guess what? I don't care. Also, I didn't even click that final punch. It just did it on its own. 
At that point, I didn't even click to do the game. Just went, yeah, do it anyway. One, two, three, four, but no, it's five. like, even with these uber diff, but this is the thing. And I, I, I didn't say it on video, but I said it after a video to myself that the jab, and I think I might have said it on video, but I don't think I've said it in this way. The jab is probably, the reason you're bad at the game if you're struggling is because you don't know how to use the jab. Like, as soon as you start learning the jab and learning how to really, like, implement it into combos, you learn how to, like, sort of catch people in their movements. That's when you really are going to start getting it. You know, because counter punch is definitely far more valuable than any other punch in the game. And a jab is, in my opinion, the most valuable punch. If you can learn how to size it up, you're definitely going to have a better time than if you didn't know how to jab, you know? And also learning how to break. Like, jab and break in your step is probably the most important thing. Also, I love how he didn't let me lean. Don't you love that? But now he's just not doing anything because he's just caught. Oh, come on. You're telling me. I despise that. Like, you could just beat someone like that and it does nothing. Like, you're joking, right? Like, the guy's letting me hear him like that, standing perfectly still, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Like, that's one thing I cannot stand in this game. Also, yes, when you stand perfectly still and you do a jab, you can get a power straight like that. Which is the quickest punch in the game outside of a power jab like that. And it's pretty much the same animation as a regular straight. No idea why it doesn't carry over the punches though. Like hooks. Why did I even try and punch? I knew it was going to do a weird animation though I wasn't moving. Oh, that was perfect. I don't usually like taunting, but I'll take that. Look at that clean hit. He turned into a zombie. Eyes just disappearing into his brain. Those eyes are already sort of going up there after that. Okay, the fight's over. There's a minuscule chance he's going to get up. But it's very unlikely. I wish there was a different animation though. I just like getting onto your knees and then there's flopping. It would just be better if the ref went up to him and just grabbed him. Also, they need to change the face animation. Like how red they get isn't realistic. It should be like you're swelling up. The swelling is literally just your face turns really red. Which in some cases happens, but not this often. So I thought this was going to be another torture fight, but apparently it's just like, nah, just roll through it like it's easy. It's like, I, I'm after that one fight, every fight when I see these AI acting weird, I'm like, are we going to have enough one of those fights where it goes to the final round and I can't knock him out because he's just a brick? 
you know? Like, uh, like the two fights now since then, and I'm still like, is it going to be him again? Is it going to be that kind of thing again? And it's like, nope, it's not. But you're constantly paranoid it is because of how it goes. Okay. And I, I'm not sure how deep into this I'm going to go. I'm not sure how deep it lets you go. Well, I'm not sure how long career goes or if there's a way to retire. Because I sort of want to win the title if it lets me go up a division, win the titles, and then like... I should probably be in this weight because I that's how much I messed up the height. Yeah, I'm gonna... Gonna nick you. Gonna nick you. How long have you got left? No point upgrading you because I plan to replace you now. Here we go. Oh, we got Connor Ben. But he's not really that high up. Like, he gives you more... Like, this guy gives me a lot of money to fight him. You know, just because it's such a high difference in money, I am going to take this guy. Even though he's not the best ranking, he has such a high worth of money. And I also need to get my stats up. So we're probably, for now, going to... I actually like that contract. We're going to sort of focus on just getting money and training. There we go. Like, pretty easy fight to tra train for because I've only really got to focus on two things. And one is counter punching, the other is health. And then I might go later on into stamina when we're going to be having like the longer round fights. Because currently we're only having like six rounds. We don't really need to worry about stamina. But when we get to the 12 rounders, that's when we got to focus on getting some better stamina because that's when stamina is actually important. But considering I just have been able to get away with a jab a lot more now that I've actually Alongside learned how to deal with some Johnny stuff. Nelson. Hi Todd, hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. Oh, we, we have an actual this entrance. Okay, we'll do the entrance the then. Weight division, 147 pound max or 67 kilos. And they do have a reach advantage here. And you can see who has the power advantage. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see <sighs> you want to yawn we gotta do the entrances oh, i'll just click it from japan the last time we saw them in action they impressed everyone with that big ko victory he doesn't actually look th that bad it's only in the a ring he looks kind of weird but here he actually looks fine Maybe a bit too shiny, not enough Northern wrinkles, Ireland. but outside that, the last fine. Night they scored a spectacular knockout win. You can hardly hear also, this guy the fans is not English. And now we toss it up to the world He's Londonish. <laughs> I'm Jimmy sorry, Linichu. no Englishman walks with that posture. This is London all over it. 
He's also got a very questionable jaw shape. <laughs> I appreciate sure everyone's knows the joke the I'm making with that jaw because, Japan. oh my goodness, that is a royal jaw and a half. With white. It's literally like half the monstrosities you'd see on UFC corner, where they have like the weirdest, freakiest Ireland. jaws you've ever seen. Wearing the black trunks trimmed with yellow. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every oh, we both have... has been taken. I wish we could have more variants of gloves, because like with different wristbands and stuff. This night. The heat, the atmosphere, you could cut it with a <laughs> What a great venue and what a great matchup. Cannot wait for this one. <laughs> and there's the bell to start the Here round. Here we go. Ooh, I'm a bit sluggish in my movement. I'm starting with a bit of a stamina dis- Every Oh! He he's a counter puncher. A receipt is coming right back. Like my my brain instantly went counter puncher. Toes, trying to get some energy. Like I instantly saw that my brain was like this is a counter puncher. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. Yeah, we gotta take this first round slow. You know they have an amazing relationship. So this guy is a counter puncher, and I felt now, the power behind really his counter as soon as he hit it. Oh, I baited him out of his strategy already. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. I don't think this is my idea. You were actually more intimidating when you weren't. Well, maybe it's like just straight, and it happened to counter. But I'm pretty sure he's meant to be a. Is he trying to slug with me? Dude, I'm not going to slug when, when you got such power. I'm going to slowly tap you down the round and using my jab that I've trained a lot. Lucky, that hook and I'm going to counter punch you. Why, why would I train my counter punch if I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> use it? Catch and shoot. That's what I want to do. This fighter has a killer I just want to just just slowly wear you down. I'm not even going to be aggressive about it. Of their fights have ended early. Okay, so everyone's just a... Why is everyone... Is, is Slugger just so strong in AI? He's dropped the guard that, now. I swear every AI decision? ends up being a Slugger. Nice oh, that was shot. a clean, clean distance managing right there. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. No, it's not. <laughs> and we know that for a fact. There's a counter Oh, shot. yeah. Okay, game. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Don't let me do that when I click to do that, but let him do it. Yeah, sure. Okay. They ring the bell and here we go. Uh, yeah, this AI is last round very good at countering. Gotta be careful with that. My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep oh, he doing wants my what body. you've just been doing because you've won that. Hands yeah, down. yeah, I, I, I've got him now. Fighter does everything behind the jab. Their opponent has got to watch out for that. Now I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. Trying to fight like Roy Jones Jr. now. Bouncing on the toes. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. That's what I mean. Would he, like, this is what I mean by the jab just being the most important punch in this kind of mode. Like, online, it's so laggy that you can get away with a lot of things you wouldn't. But when you got, like, crisp stuff like this, you cannot play a game where you aren't, you know. You can't play the game where you aren't just playing it smart like if he had been smart and not left himself open for those counter jabs he would have been fine but he kept leaving himself open that's that's what i was on about like he kept leaving himself open like he looks normal in the game it's like when the like why does everyone look different in game compared to that edge like his jaw looks normal now excuse me what i swear it must be a lighting thing or something Three, happens because two, it's like he looks normal in the ring now. Like he looks a bit swollen on the jaw, but that could just be because I punched him. 
They look so weird in the entrances. Like, I don't get it. Like the in-ring rendering so is completely different. Continue, but how can they get back into this bout? He's got to waste time. Get stuck behind the referee. No, don't when try and hook. Don't up, try and hook with this guy. Walk around the ring. As we enter the Stop lowering your guard like a moron. Around, he'd rather forget. You know what? I, 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 I've won the round. I don't need to worry. I don't need to worry. I've won the round. I knocked him down. That was a guarantee. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised. Oh, he's going for those uppercuts. Okay, amazing. only single That's jabs now. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a no, no jab double. We're not fencing. We're playing spearmen. Meaning we're not going to be throwing like... Well, actually, no. We are fencing still. Because it's still fencing like, like Pope. Strategy here, trying to just zipping in. He's getting aggressive. I missed it. Don't matter. He's whiffing so just as much as he's hitting. And I think I have the durability to handle him. Nice counter. I think I have the durability to handle the so dude. The there we go. The Mix up with the hook. Oh, and there we go. That was beautiful. You see what he I mean with how important the jab is to learn. If you don't get that jab, this mode this will be again. 500 Where times more difficult when you get from? these kind of what fighters. Because even at the lower end, weaker fighters now are starting to get a bit more difficult to work against. Like, very very slowly, like, of your first 10 fights, your first 14 fights might be a cakewalk with occasional, like, one, maybe two difficults thrown in. But they're not going to be, like, this level where it's only because I was smart, I learned my jab a lot more than I used to. That I'm actually doing well here. If I didn't know my jab, I would be absolutely beaten pillar to post and I'd be struggling. I'd be having issues. I'd be it'd be super awkward. Spider <coughs> continues to show how much heart he's got, but the corner may have to intervene here. He's up, but for how long? Look at him. I'm not even I'm not even I'm not even gonna rush for it. To decide, we have to protect our fighter. I'm gonna let him recover with these glitches. I don't want to win up a glitch. And that's what he's done right there. Got caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows he's won this round. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. I was hoping for a flash KO right there, that would have been the perfect ending. But I could have won right there. I, I didn't feel like it and I want to see. I want to take out my own pace. And also, remember, these scores are not very accurate to life. So in a real life, he would probably actually be up on the first round. Where the rounds I, the rounds I won, obviously I won. We are witnessing an upset in the making. How is he on his feet? This doesn't make sense. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. Can he finish this here? It looks like he might not be as hurt as we thought. Bean Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Can he close the show? who thought this would be a miss oh he got clipped he got clipped and this may be it not what he well that looked like a flash knockdown here let's see if he can get oh that's a flash knockdown really has started the count here but look at that beautiful beautiful good. combo everything looks better like in slow motion. pretty let's much just a miniature look. dempsey roll Someone right here because let's be honest it's like that is so weird it's just unrelenting weaving forces like sort of a mike tyson right there Beautiful Mike Tyson variant of the Dempsey roll. Two shots to the body, or one shot ahead, one shot to the body, one shot ahead. Always that beautiful, like, that combination. Slip, weave, boom. Like, can we get a better? Oh, yeah, this is a perfect angle. Like, look at that. Boom. 
Like, that's how you throw the AI off as well. Like, those slips can throw the AI off massively. If that ended the fight, I would actually not mind too much. But I think he's going to get up. Just barely on his feet. Apparently, it's going to take more than that to keep this fighter down. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagles hurt, your chin's hurt, your Oh, you're so hurting. lucky I, I You've went. You've got to get up, suck it up, and think, right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. Like, the fact that I'm the one now weaving and being hyper-aggressive is probably Looks setting like this guy off. He's here. probably like, I don't Just like this it. at all. Oh, he's giving me some clean shots, though. Boy, this next round is going to... He's dodging the devastating blow as well. And there's the bell to start the round. Like that straight he's is pretty much my most deadly shot. In the last round. Let's not what spam it too much. Let's just slowly pack. Oh, 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 gotta be careful. Now Remember this guy, even if he has no visible stats, he has some nasty body shots. You are going to do with the exchange punches. It's bombs away. He's trying to get distance now. Hmm. Okay, game. What a world champion! I don't really have to worry about him getting too close. Gentlemen. He's probably gas. Solid punch. Like, I don't, I'm not really too worried now. I feel like he's probably got some gas going. Good counter punching. Oh, uh, but I gotta remember those count. Like, I he keep getting too cocky and it costs me. Career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed desperately. Okay, yeah. The fact that he dodges every headshot is just so weird. Like, he literally Quick, punch, is so force. vulnerable to body shots, but headshots just don't aze him. I'm not getting clean shots, that's the issue here. Caught him. There we go, that's some clean. Time it correctly, got to time it. Bait it out, delay my shots. Yeah, no point trying to hook him there. He's Looks just like always ready for hook. A little bit here. Very close round with 10 seconds to... Can he finish the job? Well, that looked like a flash knockdown here. Let's see if he can that get That wasn't a flash. He like literally was stunned. Blink and you miss it. Good thing we can watch that over and over again. Not my best knockdown. But still not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But yeah, this is the point I'm making. This fight would be hard if I didn't have a good jab. Pretty much. That is literally what carries me. Good counter punch, good jab. Most people don't realize that's how effective the jab is. That's what's holding people back. Footwork and jabs. You gotta really focus on it. You gotta really, like, you know, keep your eye on it. And that's how you can tell this guy's dangerous because he's in the 44 area, which isn't common for AI. If an AI is in the 44 area, you know he's dangerous. If I had taken any unnecessary risk, and I did a few times when I got really close to start slugging, I shouldn't have done that. That was really bad on my part. Since I left myself vulnerable, I let myself get some very brutal shots, and any of those shots could have just KO'd me. Like, if he got a clean butt on my head after all those body shots, that could have just been the fight. That's what you got to be careful about. you got to be very, very careful. Because even if it's a minuscule chance, the AI could just completely knock your block off. And a lot of people aren't appreciative of that, in my opinion. I'm probably going to take the more... I'm just going to take the more valuable fight. I want more weeks. 
I want eight. Give me eight weeks. Gives me more training time. Can I go one up? I finally can go here. Oh, I went into undertrained lightly with that. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh well. That was fine by me. I will say though, as a side thing, I despise weight cutting as a practice. I think it's a disgusting practice, like with how it's currently done and how it's been done for so long. Like, it's not as bad as it used to be, but it's still horrendous. Like, if you've seen some of those videos of people weight cutting, and there's, there's a reason I don't respect certain UFC fighters for a reason. Because it's just like, when people like, burn their entire life to weight cut and then, almost, you know, and some people are just so callous. Not even cast, it's just like... It's just like... Uh, I'm not even going to get into that subject because it's like... I've just accepted a lot of fighters are not very pleasant people. Because you sort of need an ego in fighting, you know? Like, to be a good fighter, you need an ego. Otherwise, you're not going to have the mindset to, like, be aggressive. You know they have an amazing relationship with their coach. They've been working together for a while now, and it's really paying off. This guy's like what? Now, bouncing on the toes. Why, why why are my feet suddenly getting quick sand? I might have to work on my feet footwork. We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's I don't need to be on my toes, heaven. but you know what? Let's do it. This fighter has a killer instinct. Just look at this KO percentage. Over 70% of their fights have ended early. Just misses that uppercut. The perfect counter lands. Solid punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That oh, yeah, that didn't hit him. Okay. Totally. Totally didn't hit him. Okay, game. Totally didn't hit his block at the very least. But no, I'm just going to say, I don't like weight cutting. Like, I think this game has a much more pleasant version of weight cutting since it's not as extreme as like, it can get in real life. Since we haven't seen weight division cutting yet. Like, now that's an actual gruesome thing, like weight. Like, it's like, it, merely if people just, you know... Ha I think if fights... Like, I think that's why people don't fight as much anymore. Especially in boxing, you don't see people have as many fights anymore. It's one, because weight divisions are much smaller and tight now. And two, because, everything behind the jab, like, I don't think mm, people are very as accepting of, like, these massive weight cuts anymore. Because of just how bad it is. Which I agree with. Weight cutting is horrendous. So he's going to drop his arms down here. Not no, sure I don't want to, I don't want to try decision. and grapple him. A perfect counter shot. He caught him clean. Clean as a whistle. Some real good back and forth between these two fighters. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them. More than happy. can see from the record this fighter is fantastic and is really difficult to get past 
Oh, he's head bobbing now. Oh, what a punch! Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. You yeah, should have said what that. Judges' scorecards read: there are no losers in this one. Yes, there are. The loser is the person who loses the fight. What do you mean there's no losers? Like, that's such a moronic statement, you know? Like, there are no losers in this fight. I despise that statement. It's like, it's such a loser mindset. No, if you lose, you lose. If I lose, I lose. I can have a beer, one excuse. I can say, cheesy AI. Um, I didn't have the perfect training cap, whatever. Even in real life, you can have a billion and one excuses. You're still lost. Especially if you get knocked out, like... Judges you can dispute, but if you get knocked out, if you get knocked down, if you get counted by the ref, just a set that you lost, you know, especially. Because I think, like, unless the person's, like, proven to, like, have lowly gloves or something, like, you know, you could dispute a decision, but it's still going to count an L on the record, whether you like it or not, unless you can find some hard evidence to prove they cheated. Which unfortunately is not the easiest thing to do if someone actually did cheat. Generally, it's only the people who are like really obvious with it that end up getting caught. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. Nice counter shot. Okay. We might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time. The referee really, really thinking about stopping it. Good job trying to back out of trouble. Bean Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. That's fine with me. You want, you want to retreat? I don't care. Missing with that jab. I prove I prove you know I can rock you. All That's all I care about. One. I've proved I can rock you. Beautiful counter. Like, I don't think it really affects me too much because I haven't taken much damage. Almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. I seriously hope that. I'm not gonna use the straight. What you what you want about you? He's Johnny constantly avoiding it. What do you mean keep using the straight? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last run, everything works. There we go, baiting. The he keeps then, dodging keep a lot. A card does attack randomly. He keeps being high progressive. Gotta be like, really, really careful. There's there we go. Blow. That's what I wanted. Go find a way through his pincer. Go find a way through his lance. He keeps going for that nice combination. There we go. Got him. Delay with that power straight. Not power straight, power jab. Oh, he got me with a clean. A win is needed desperately. Forces me back. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going at it. Looks like a little change of strategy here. Trying to loosen up the flow a little bit. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Grappling me out of desperation again. Now, he's getting very desperate, you can tell. Now, the fact he's grabbing me so much, I think, shows that he is super desperate. They threw the hook. It did land. One punch could change the entire complexion of this fight. Oh, I've got no stamina. Need to get out that magnet zone. Caught him. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Oh, and that changes everything. There we go. And down they go. I need to see that again. Some amazing boxing like, right there. Shot I can the get guns, in close now say. because I think I've found his flow, so I don't really have to worry too much about him getting any good shots off because. I found the flow in his guard. I could start demolishing him, start giving him the quick fire. Look at that. Boom, 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 
Boom. Boom. That is just mummy cell. Like, he's saying it like he got put in a coffin. He got put in a coffin. He's celebrating DX. Oh, his eyebrows are swelling shut. Come on, ref. Just end it. Like, you know this guy isn't in the fight anymore. Come on, man. You, you know the guy's not in the fight anyway. His heart's not in it. Don't force this guy he's to go another round. Down, like, he very not, not he's, he's very clearly isn't. He's very clearly not in the fight. Go. He's not he got, got the soul in it. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. I won't because this guy is not hurt yet. He got knocked down, but he's not hurt. And I can tell he's not hurt. He's getting close to hurt, but he's not hurt yet. I can't get that. Like, he's not fearing my jab yet. Like, you you can tell as soon as someone changes to hurt. Because there's an immediate shift in, like, how damage flows. Immediate shift in their reaction. He is not hurt. Like, he's getting there because he's not bobbing and weaving as much as he used to. He, he gets like caught too much now. He's trying to go back to basics like he was in the earlier rounds. But he's still got a bit of that movement, you know? Can they figure out the combination to this safe? We might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the glove. A win is needed desperately. Nice punch. Now that connected, that would probably been bad for him. Like with this style, my lead hook is not that good. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. Trying to confuse his style now. Just so go on mixing some stance. like inside boxing because if I don't, he's going to learn my style too quickly. So we just go and mix in some other stuff. There's a scoring blow. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds That was to dangerous. Go. I am so staggered. Not staggered. I'm so gassed. Like he's clearly, he's clearly still in it. You can tell by the way he's just moving so heavily. Like he's moving too much to really reliably put down. I think, I think by round seven he'll probably be in a state where a slight tap on the face will hurt him. But he's not at the round seven yet. Like he's not at the damage yet. You can see him. He's getting there. He's getting to the point where I'm like, okay, I can take this guy. But he's not there yet. He's not in the state I want him yet. You know? Desperately. I, I don't see him in the weak state yet. Well done with that counter shot. So I am starting to able to get away with like these repeated like combos to hey. Which means he is slowing. He's slowing. And I'm able to take a lot of points. I need to work on my cardio here. after this. Like, I'm probably going to start working on my defense and cardio, like my health and cardio. And there we go. Yeah, he. I think he's almost there. He's almost there. We're not going to knock him yet. We're just going to keep pounding at his block. Yeah, he's, okay, he's there. He's in the state where we can just bully him. We're just going to keep doing that. Yeah, he's in the state. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he he's he's done. This is it. There we go. And that's it. The swarm in with jab straight. Like I don't I don't need any other attack. I don't need any other attack. That's the thing. I could tell he was done. I could tell he was hurt. I could tell his guard was broken. I did not need to care about any other attack. I could just keep jab straight in and I knew I was safe. Because he had no punish for it. He wasn't able to bob and weave. He was too hurt to take a punch and risk it. So as soon as that jab connects, he got staggered. That's what happened. Very basic. Very simple. Throw him off occasionally by opening myself up a bit with a few different punches. Making it so he gets some openings. Yes, but 
It also kept him from bobbing and weaving as much. And then I relied on my defense, my chin, my body being solid to survive it. And it may have only been a knockdown, but now I'm sure he's weakened. Has to be careful for that receipt. That's the thing. It's I get a solid one-two on him. If I get a counter straight, like counter jab into a regular straight, that's just going to be a drop. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? What's a heavy knock? But I, I can feel it. He's recovered a little bit, but he's not recovered enough. I've been throwing a bit too much, though. I've been trying to get that knockout a bit too hard. Needs the flat come to me. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Has to be careful for Yeah, he's not making it past round eight. Like round seven is where I see the weakness forming. Like he's fully weakened now. He's softened up. I can just do whatever I want with him. He's still got some dodges. I just stop him doing that with that. The warning of the body shot. And he immediately stops trying. Like, you see what I mean? He's so weakened that one body shot threatens him into giving up on that. Like, that's the mere idea of a body shot. Makes the guy not want to dodge. So I just have to mix in occasional body shots. Make him know the threat of that, especially with his current state, and he's pretty much unable to do anything now. The discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dare. Of course, I'm going to respect someone with power. Like he still has a one-shot knockout ability. Of course, I'm going to respect that. Like when I hear he still respect, of course I respect his power. He had his moment, but has it gone by? It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell him when he goes back to the corner? How are they going to get through this? Oh, he's he yeah, he's definitely now. Nah, he's getting the mix up then. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. And now going for the finish. Oh, you're so lucky. But you see what I mean? I, I can tell he's going to open it. I can just do what pretty much I want now. I can take him out. It's going to be easy. And here we go. Last round complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. Yeah, he's completely dead. I don't care. We might be seeing the end of this. Oh, he's pretty, clinching now. He's desperate. Is effective. I don't know if it's a dancing competition or a fight. If only my Who's hook wasn't so go, terrible. The other fighter won't. He pushed me back before I could do what I wanted. Trying to land that jab. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. That oh, well, I've won anyway, so it doesn't matter. I, I just skill. want the Tough knockout. Attack. That's the just thing. And I have no fear of his knockout anymore. Like, this is where the respect disappears and you take risks. Because he's completely drain like he can't do anything beyond career. one Maybe combo and then he's completely gassed the like 10 minutes like you can see one punch in like a this is the biggest moment of his life can he seize it and they're down there we go Would be wise here told you to take the full told you seconds. what as soon as he gets impact. that combo he's gassed we'll forever through his punch through his second punch gone gets demolished by a big old blitz And if he hadn't done anything, that punch would have taken him out. So, even if he had dodged this punch, the other punch would have come in and just whooshed him. Because this is the thing. When you don't learn the jab, these AI will walk over you. But when you know the jab, these AI can't do much, even if they're really good at dodging. Because you're not getting close enough for them to take advantage. You're not getting close enough for them to feast. You're like, I'm staying at my distance. 
I'm staying at my range. You have to come into my range to attack me, leaving you open. And if I go into your range, I'm not always going to be in close enough for you to punch. That's the difference. That's what I think movement and jab are so important. So like, even if it, you haven't got a good jab stack, learning a jab to set up other stuff, like getting close if you want to slug, is very, very important. A shot. And I don't feel like people learn that enough. Like, yeah, I think that's like my first below 50 in a while in terms of hit. So I did mess up a little bit. Like, I will say that I did mess up a little bit with my punches. Definitely did that. But overall, I honestly... I'm, yeah, overall, I honestly think that was actually pretty well. Should have gone for less power punches. I don't remember going for that many, but apparently I did. Should have gone for less power punches. Would have probably knocked me back over the 50 if I did that. But it is what it is. I also probably could have been a more, more aggressive when I rocked him the first time, gone for more body shots, taking him out earlier, but still want to risk a counter shot, you know? Personally, I still want to risk a counter shot. I felt if that counter shot hit me, it might cause issues, you know? And so I wanted to avoid the counter shot. Anyway, unfortunately, even though he's been our boy for so long, we're going to find a new coach because there is, I believe it's you who has it. Um, bomber, yeah. I want to get her as a coach. And then I'm going to upgrade her stack. There we go, we've got some new people. We've upgraded everything to D rank. Not massive improvements, but it is better than what it could be. Now we're just gonna spend some time just getting my weight sorted. Like we're gonna spend like over a month of doing that. I'm pretty sure canonically my guy's probably one of the most active fighters. Since every other month he pretty much goes And like, oh wait, I haven't... Where? Okay, I'm not sure. You know, let's go. Tile challenge. Okay. We're going to go for the tile challenge. During your career, there are six tiles for you to win. I see. I don't want a rematch. I want it one and done. I don't want to have to defend my tile against the same guy. Okay, so this will be the next part because this part's already long enough. It's almost an hour. So yeah, we are almost 70 overall. We are getting into the zone of where we're going to be higher ranked. And we're going to be dealing with a lot more tougher, more determined, grittier fighters who definitely are going to, you know, run us hard they're gonna run us rough and we gotta make sure to keep our gears in check or we'll get knocked off the rails